Science and welcome to my channel. This is your Thursday, July 20th, 2018. Daily love reading. I'm going to tip you on down here so you can watch me shuffle. Um, this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. In that order, please. I will be doing a couple different uh, spreads. So if this first spread doesn't relate to your situation, stick around for the second one. Um, also check your moon, rising, and Venus signs as well, as those often hold many uh, messages for our situations as well. So let's get started. Spirit and angels, what messages do you have for air signs, for moon, rising, and Venus for the 20th in love? One more shuffle here. That will be good. Okay, Gemini. You guys, let me tip you up just a little bit. You guys have the Ace of Wands. Beautiful. Libra, the Devil, and Aquarius, the Lovers. Your bottom of the deck and the overall situation is the Seven of Swords in reverse, clarified by the Four of Pentacles. We'll get some clarifiers right away here. Gemini males, Ooh. Gemini females, Libra males, Libra females, Capricorn males, and Capricorn females. Sorry, I had to pause you there for a second. My kid came out. Okay. And advice from the angels, whoa. We'll show those at the end. And advice from the hidden realm. Oh my goodness, all or both readings I've done for fire sign and earth sign so far have been the spiritual whisper. Huge energy in this new moon in Cancer of being divinely guided, divinely awoken. <clears throat> All right, Gemini, you guys have new beginnings. Something has lit a new fire under your behind. Um, passion at its uh, at its strongest, uh, creating something new for Gemini males. It's with the person that um, you could see spending the rest of your life with. Uh, in the past, you have cheated yourself out of um, this beautiful connection because you were scared to show your emotions. You were scared to let it all out. You were scared to be vulnerable to this person. But this new beginning that's being sparked by this person, all that's going to be uh, a thing of the past because you are no longer self-sabotaging your happiness. Gemini females, you have these six of swords. So you are moving on from somebody who um, hurt you in the past. You have got a new drive within you. You are taking this new opportunity and making the most of it. Um, you still are emotionally hurt. You still have a lot of scars to deal with. And that is why that you are kind of holding back on giving your um, time and, and energy to somebody at this moment. But you are moving on towards something that you find amazing passion in. And it's being clarified by the Eight of Cups. <laughs> amazing. So, um, yeah, for you Gemini males, the Eight of Cups plus the Two of Cups equals the Ten of Cups. This is your Ten of Cups relationship. For the females, you are moving in a more spiritual direction, moving on, moving away from this deceitful energy, and you are putting your heart and passion into something else. Libra, you guys have the devil. Could be dealing uh, with a Capricorn here. Uh, Libra males, you have the six of wands. You're finding victory. Um, you're finding victory within this person. Somebody that you feel like um, they kind of give you that excitement. Like you're on the edge of your seat. Like they could be so bad for you, but right now it's so good type of thing. And um, it's going to work out. You're going to be successful. This person, I hate how um, a lot of people associate the devil card with, oh, horrible, horrible energy. Not always. Um, at times it could be things in excess, but maybe that's excess, you know, happiness. 
maybe that's an excess in joy, an excess in um, in feeling victory because you have come so far. You were cheated on in the past. There's no doubt about it. Somebody cheated on you and you know it. So you closed down. You closed out everybody to work on yourself. You dove right into work. You escaped from the world. Um, but you're finding success in this new person that, that, uh, you just don't know how, what to think about them yet because they cause so much, um, uh, electricity through you, so much energy, so much spark, but you're like, oh man, I could get in some serious trouble with this person. Like, yeah, but it, it's in a good way. This is a good card in this reading. Uh, Libra females. Hello, devil, devil. Um, Yeah, for you guys, you are dealing with a Capricorn somewhere in the chart. I'm seeing they're not they are not Capricorn Sun necessarily. But um this person, they are yeah, they are um helping you break out of your shell. You have uh just recently heard this news. Um you do know, however, so if you don't know, this is not for you. But um you're really closing down and um not allowing anybody to penetrate that wall because you have the page of swords clarifying this. So, um, you found out information that was not necessarily given to you at the time you found out about this cheating and you're finding out more and more as you guys are separate longer and longer that, um, that it's, it's opening that wound back up and that wall is now going back up faster than ever. Also, you could be overindulging in something, whether that be food, alcohol, what have you. I don't see drugs here. Um, I do see maybe drinking a little, uh, you know, having one too many drinks, um, binge eating in front of Netflix, something like that. Um, but you are, it's going to be okay. It's just part of your process right now. Um, you're okay. So uh, just go with the flow. Do with what, what you got to do to deal um, because you're going to bounce back real fast, Libra females. All right, Aquarius, you guys have a choice to make. Um, are you going to choose to wallow in, uh, your sorrows and close everybody out because of somebody that betrayed you in the past? Or are you going to open up and allow love in, um, for you Aquarius males, you're going to let love in. The tower has happened in the past. And um, it's a thing of the past. Uh, however, you are still going to be very cautious with yourself, with your heart. Um, and Aquarius females, you have the wheel of fortune in reverse. So you guys are experiencing the downside of karma, unfortunately. Um, you could have been the one that cheated and your uh, partner did not pick to stay with you is what I'm seeing with the king of cups in reverse. Yep. You guys... Uh, Aquarius females, either you or your partner, you're not choosing each other. You're moving on from this deceitful energy, um, putting your wall up. Aquarius males, uh, you are drained. You are emotionally drained and had had enough uh, of this at this moment. But I do see things on the horizon for you guys. Beautiful things. Um, your angel card that flipped out was separation. So separation is on the rise um, for all three groups I see. Uh, except for Capricorn males, you guys look freaking amazing, but everybody else. Oh yeah. Uh, Gemini males as well. This is needed at this time, uh, for you to, for you to heal. It's okay to put up that wall for a little bit. Just don't block it out too long. And you guys have the spirit whisper. So you're being divinely guided to move into this separation energy. You know, you need this time to yourself. You know you need this healing from how you've been betrayed in the past. And uh, it's going to lead you into a more beautiful spiritual place anyways. Especially Gemini females with the Six of Swords and the Eight of Cups. Um, you're being called for this. And and I do see all of you um, moving into the right energy. I don't see anybody really holding back this week. Um, trying to fight this energy. Let's do another situation for you guys. Spirit angels, what messages do you have for our air signs? A different situation from the first, please. Thank you. All right. So pick a side. Air signs. Whoa, way too many. 
All right. So you guys are narrowing down the options. You guys have a lot of options, a lot of confusion also. You don't know who to believe or who to trust. You still, um, you're still reeling from the last relationship for some of you. Uh, you're wondering if this is too good to be true for uh, a group of you as well. Because someone's going to come in very fast. Um, they're going to speak the truth. And don't worry, this is real. This is real. You're wondering, you're questioning it. You're manifesting this person into your life. So don't be scared. Don't hesitate. They are coming and they are coming very fast, very honest, passionate, amazing energy, air signs that is coming towards you or you towards somebody else. Yeah, um, you've been thinking with your head far too long. You're going to you're going to decide to follow your heart and see how it works this time. You guys are a very logical, very, um, you act upon what is logically, uh, the next step when, um, now you're going to, you're going to decide to follow your heart with this person. You're taking a chance, taking a leap. They're opening up communication with you about how they want to start a new relationship. Um, they're kind of like, I've been hurt in the past. You've been hurt in the past. How about we give this a shot? You're manifesting this person, whoever's on this side. And uh, they could be younger than you, light hair, um, beautiful eyes. Look at that. You're going to find uh, emotional happiness, contentment, um, an overabundance of happy energy, happy joy, happy tears. Um, yeah, most definitely this person is a gift when you need it the most. They are very independent. They could be going to school, um, earth sign natured, which means they're nurturing, loving. They got their shit together. Um, and this is, oh my God, I was just going to say exactly what you've been wishing for. This is divinely guided to happen, air signs. They were put in your path for a reason. And that reason is to be with you and complete your guys' soul's purpose together. The other person. Temperance. Oh my goodness. Amazing. This person is balanced, healed. They have so much to offer. Um, they have worked hard on themselves to get where they're at. They have an amazing energy. Um, they give and give and give, but yet they receive with the, the same grace, the same beauty. Um, there doesn't get a uh, much better, uh, combination of things than this. This is everything you have hoped for everything it, all wrapped up into one being one beautiful soul. Um, this person could be, um, intuitive as well. Uh, Sagittarius is here, fire sign, air sign. Um, earth sign. It's all here. Um, but this person is exactly what you need after the shit storm you guys have been through um, in the last couple years. Um, can I get some advice from the angels, please? All right. Keep an open mind. This person may not be who you think it's going to be. This person could come into your life, like I said, in a split second, and you are going to be bowled over by them. Um, they're everything that you have wished for, but didn't know you needed or wanted. Um, so keep an open mind. They may not be exactly who you think. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type or expectations. So allow, bring that wall down and allow love in, and you are going to be most definitely glad that you did because... Holy cow. Amazing. Your advice card that came out, sisters of the season, cycles of growth, natural law, and divine order. So don't rush anything. This is going to come to you. If this is meant for you, it's coming. Uh, make sure you go through the process. Make sure you heal. Uh, make sure you end things the way they need to be ended and allow the natural cycle of this relationship. Don't push it. Don't rush um, because it's, it's coming for you and it is going to be so successful and so beautiful and, um, and just everything that you have hoped for and wanted all wrapped up into one person who is very well, um, established in their own life, very well balanced and loving and nurturing and ready to make that offer to you. Um, whether you approach them or they approach you, they, they are wanting only you as well. So, Congratulations, Air Sign. This is a beautiful connection. I hope you guys have an amazing Thursday. And as always, thank you for coming to my channel. Much love and appreciation. God bless.